a young man in al madinatul munawwara a believing man a companion but the people despised him they didn't like him and they didn't like him because he had two things which they despised he was short in stature and he had something on his fo on his face which is called damama now damama without pinpointing exactly what it is it's something which is on the face which is unappealing or which the people found unappealing it's like a growth on the face this companion had this on his face and coupled with the fact that he was of short height the people despised him they despised him such that every time he would come towards them they would move away as if this was contagious but there was one person who loved him tremendously and that was the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he loved allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he worked diligently day and night for the cause of islam but as with every young man there came a point in his life where he wanted to get married and nobody wanted to give their daughter's hand in marriage to him and so he asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to undertake this task for him and to find a bride for him so the prophet alaihi salatu wasallam approached this family and said to the man i would like your daughter's hand in marriage the man was absolutely ecstatic overjoyed ya rasulullah of course this would be a sharaf for us but then his joy was short lived because the prophet alayhi salam told him it's not for me it's for my companion julaybib suddenly the man's complexion changes the color on his face is lost and he begins to backtrack ya rasulullah you will have to speak to the girl's mother i have no say in this and so the prophet alayhi salam approaches the mother and said the same thing the woman is overjoyed ya rasulullah this is an honor for us this is a great sharaf for us and the prophet alayhi salam tells her not for me but for my companion Julaybib the woman is angered she said Julaybib never will i marry my daughter to Julaybib but it just so happens to be that the girl in question is listening to the conversation and she intervenes and she said do you realize who you are saying no to are you saying no to the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam suddenly it dawns upon them that what have we done what have we done you know allah rebukes those people who raise their voices in the court of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam la tarfa'u aswatakum fawqa sawti an-nabi do not raise your voices above the voice of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam أن تحبط أعمالكم وأنتم لا تشعرون lest your actions be destroyed and you are totally unaware and so it dawns upon them that what have we done and they apologize and the woman this righteous pious woman she agrees she accepts the proposal and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made abundant dua for her now this is where the story takes a turn before julaybib is able to marry this woman remember in the early days al madinatul munawwara is under constant attack badr in the second year of hijri third year of hijri is the battle of uhud fifth year is the battle of khandak and so on and so forth 
and there's many skirmishes in between. Suddenly a battle is about to commence. All the money which Julaybib had for his wedding, he goes to the marketplace, he spends every single dirham and dinar, and he buys his chainmail, he buys his helmet, he buys his sword, his spear, everything he spends on this battle. The ulama don't mention which battle, battle this is. Nonetheless, when the battle comes to an end and there's bodies scattered everywhere and people are looking for their loved ones and the Prophet ﷺ is looking for Julaybib and is unable to find him. And the Messenger of Allah ﷺ is looking searching for his beloved companion Julaybib radiallahu an. When the people find their loved ones, the Prophet salam asks them to help him find Julaybib, locate Julaybib. And so the companion set out, eventually they find him. Sayyiduna Julaybib is Shaheed. And he's lying on the battlefield. And the Prophet وسلم, stands over him and says to him, as if speaking to him and speaking to the companions, Qatala sab'atan thumma kutila hadha minni wa ana minhu. And the Prophet وسلم, repeats this, he killed seven, then he was killed, he is from me and I am from him. Hadha minni wa ana minhu and repeats this. And then in tribute, the Prophet salam picks up Julaybib in his sacred, blessed, noble arms and personally performs the tadfeen. The Prophet salam digs the grave of Julaybib and personally buries him. Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu.